a statement. Destabilizing this ontological settlement establishment of what we thought we knew. Bridging particles with this new proposition, beyond the mirage of imprinted information, relayed in Collier's message with inspiration of an undiscovered world, antimatter particles found in pockets, bartered for a spare set of realities, sparked by the questioning mentality that made us whole, the soul beat that made our marionettes dance. So, hello everyone and welcome to the final Formula Friday. And I have finished with Dirac's equation, as you can see down here. Um, and I was thinking, you know, uh, if I saw this back, you know, a year later, and just think of all the ways that we can stage YouTube videos and so on, and um, how I would manage to get this piece of paper stuck with blue tack. You can actually see the depth, the depth, <laughs> of how far this paper is away from me. Um, I could actually bring it out here and show you. Um, <laughs> but until then, I will um, stick with my piece of paper here. And um, yeah, let's get on with Formula Friday. So uh, Dirac's equation, as you can see down here, is one of the most popular examples of what makes an equation beautiful and innovative, since um, this project, Formula Friday, was actually based on this BBC project in which uh, scientists and mathematicians were discussing what they believed was the most beautiful and the most profound equation, and this is one of them. I will link down the information that will tell it far better than I can. But um, this equation implied the existence of antimatter, which is an interesting segue, as the last um, poem I did on verse day was about antimatter propulsion and how it could be possible within a decade. So you can see it up here. So what's interesting about Dirac's equation, amongst many things, is that it um, unified Einstein's theory of relativity with quantum mechanics. So you can kind of see the ideals of movement of small particles and how they actually function <laughs> in general. And it's a really interesting thing that I want to learn more about. And I want to um, know whether I'm actually talking sense at this point, which would also help. So um, yes, thank you so much for taking the time to listen. I hope you enjoyed the last Formula Friday. If you enjoyed the poem, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm always appreciative of feedback you may have. And if you'd like to subscribe, I do science poems every Thursday on uh, a topic called Verse Day. So if you want to know more about that and you want to subscribe, you can click here. So I want to say thank you so much again and I hope you've enjoyed Formula Friday. I hope by next year I'll have learned a little more and can share a little more of information. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Have a great weekend everyone and I will see you soon hopefully for Thursday. So, signing off.